Hey guys, welcome to the 169th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to begin our fourth project and we're going to be making an address book. So in this tutorial, all we're going to be doing is making a user interface. So the first thing that we're just going to want to do here is add a group box to the form. And inside of this group box, it's just going to be a list view basically displaying the people's names. So I'm just going to name this group box people. All right, and inside of here, I'm just going to drag um, a list view. So just go over to your toolbox and drag a list view over. And you can dock it in the parent container if you want, or you don't have to. It doesn't really matter. All right, and we're also going to want to have a group box uh, for all the person's information. So I'm just going to resize this here to fill up the rest of the form, and I'm going to make its text um, information. And we're actually going to be renaming this to the person's name and then their information so it just looks more fancy, I guess. And inside of here is where all the user's information is going to be displayed. So we're just going to have a label next to a text box for their information. So the first thing that we're going to have is their full name. So let me just get a text box here so you can type in it and change that name, obviously. So let's resize it to make it bigger, and there we go. I'm just going to make this label's text full name. All right, and maybe reposition it so it's more towards the top so we have more room to work with. And I'm just going to copy this because we're going to have several text boxes in here. The next one is going to be for their email. So I'm just going to type email address right there. And the next one is going to be for um, their street address. Move that around. All right, street address. And the next thing that we're going to want to have is a date input for their birthday. So I'm just going to copy the label right here since all we need is the label. And I'm just going to make this be their birthday because sometimes it's hard to remember people's birthdays. And we're just going to want to go up here and I'll get a date time picker control and just drag that over. And I like the format the way it is, so I'm just going to leave it elongated so we can actually see like the day of the week, the month, and stuff like that. We don't need the time, really. All right, and then we're going to want to have one big text box at the bottom, and that will just be for additional notes on the person, like, I don't know, like who their parents' names are and stuff like that, if you ever want to remember it. So additional notes. All right, and then text box down here. You know, we're just going to make it multi-line so you can have you know, a lot of notes. So just check this multi-line checkbox right there. Or you can go over to the properties panel and change the um, multi-line property to true. Now I'm just going to drag this bigger about, about like that because we're going to have buttons at the bottom. And those buttons will be for things like saving, adding, and removing the user. And I'm just going to select this whole thing and hold alt here and move it around so that it's more centered inside of this group box. All right, now that looks much better. And then I'm just going to get a button, and we're going to have three of these at the bottom, like I said before. The first one is going to be for saving any changes that you've made. So I'm just going to say, uh, save changes. And just make that bigger so you can see all the text. And then I'll just copy this button so I don't have to go over to the toolbox and get another one. And I'm going to make the text of this one, add contact. And then we're just going to want to have one more, and that's going to be for removing the contact. So I'm just going to make it remove. So remove. And we're also going to want to have a context menu, and that'll be for so you can right click inside of this uh, list view right here so that you can remove a person. So let me just get a context menu strip, and we're going to just only have one option, and that's, like I said, going to be for uh, removing the person. All right, and the last thing that we're just going to want to do here is uh, rename the form. So I'm just going to make it say address book. Oops, address book. And we're also going to want to make it so that you cannot resize or maximize the form. So we're going to change the form border style to fixed single. And then we're also going to make it so you cannot maximize the form. So we're just going to set the maximize box property to false. All right, and. That's pretty much it for this tutorial on setting up the user interface for our address book. 
in the next tutorial we're going to get into actually saving the settings and stuff for your address book. So see you guys.